Hello everyone and welcome to Homecoming Yoga. My name is Cameron Turnick and I am actually an alumni of Montclair State University. I graduated this past spring of 2021. I've been teaching yoga for three and a half years now and three of those years I actually spent teaching at the rec center. So I hope you've joined me at one point for one of my classes. If you haven't, welcome and I'm really excited to get started. So we are all going to begin in our cross-legged easy seat. Just finding a comfortable position, grounding your sit bones into the earth, taking any little movements here, and just relaxing the shoulders. We're gonna allow our palms to rest on either our knees or our thighs, wherever's most comfortable. We are going to take in a big inhale, belly fills up. Exhale, close the eyes, just settle in. Beautiful, with those eyes closed, taking in another big inhale. And exhale. And just taking a moment to notice how you're feeling. Checking in with your body, noticing where it maybe feels tight, maybe where it feels good. Being mindful that our face is relaxed, relaxing our eyebrows and eyelashes, our jaw. And then just checking in with our thoughts, noticing if our mind is racing, maybe our thoughts are still. Wherever we are, that's okay. Just acknowledging what we're feeling and what's going on in our mind and body. And while we're here, we're just going to take a moment to set our intention for our practice. Our intention can be anything we'd like to dedicate this flow to. Maybe our intention is to finish an assignment we have later or just to stretch out our muscles. Our intention can be a person, a place, a color, a mantra, a word, whatever we need it to be today. We are going to breathe that intention in, let it fill us up. And exhale to cement it. And we are just going to welcome some movement into our body by taking our head into big circles. Exhale as the chin comes close to the chest. Inhale as our head comes back around. Beautiful, two more. Last one on this side. Beautiful, once you reach the bottom of that circle, take it the other direction, inhaling as our head comes to the back and exhale as the chin tucks. Last one. Beautiful, and coming back through center. We're gonna take a little seated twist here. Inhale, we're gonna reach both palms up towards the sky, reaching nice and tall. Exhale, that left palm comes to the right knee, right fingertips come behind us. With every inhale, our spine grows taller. Exhale, twist a little more. One last inhale here. And one last exhale. On our next inhale, release, reaching up through center. Reach, 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 nice and tall. Exhale to the other side. Right palm meets the left knee. Left fingertips graze the earth behind us. Inhale for length in that spine. Exhale to twist a little more.
Beautiful. Inhaling back through center. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, palms come together, bring them down to our heart. And we're just going to close our eyes here for a moment, just taking a moment to connect to our heart center, reconnecting to that intention. Beautiful. We're going to take that right palm, bring it to the earth beside us. Inhale, left arm scoops overhead. Nice seated side stretch. Shoulders are pressing away from the ears. Heart is spiraling up towards the sky. If this feels good for you, awesome. Hang out here or option to lower onto that right forearm as long as you can keep that left sit bone completely grounded into the earth. Just finding whichever sensation feels best for you. Breathe. Beautiful, inhale, pressing back up, and we're gonna take it to the other side. Now that left palm meets the earth, right arm scoops overhead, shoulders away from the ears, heart is lifted, and matching whatever variation you took on the other side. So if you were up here, awesome. If you lowered, do so here. Good, keeping that right sit bone grounded into the earth. Breathe into the sensation you feel. Good, inhale back up. Awesome, and we are gonna press forward onto all fours. So coming onto hands and knees. We want our hips to be directly over our knees and shoulders, elbows, and wrists are aligned. Fingertips are spread out wide. We're gonna go into our cat cow. So inhale, belly drops, gaze comes up, looking towards the sky. Exhale, round the spine, pressing away from the earth. Good. Inhale, belly drops, gaze comes up, coming into our cow. Exhale, round to cat. Beautiful, few more here. Inhale to cow. Exhale, cat. One more of each. Inhale, belly drop, gaze comes up. Exhale, round. Beautiful, meeting in a neutral spine. And we're just gonna start warming up our core a little bit more. From here, we are going to take that right leg, extend it back long behind us. Good, engaging that core. If this feels good, for you, awesome, hang out here. Or if you're looking to fire up those abs just a little bit more, we are going to inhale, lift that left arm up. So opposite arm, opposite leg, pulling in both directions, squeeze that core, you got this. Breathe, we're here for three, two, one. Gently release, good work. All right, we are going to take it to the other side. Now that left leg extends out long behind us, squeezing those abs. And if you did so on the other side, we are going to inhale, lift that right arm up. You got this, breathe. We're here for three, two, one. Exhale, gently release. Beautiful. So we are going to sink back into our child's pose. Option to keep your knees directly underneath your belly, or maybe you take your knees about as wide as the mat, big toes come together. Either variation is fine. We're gonna sit our hips back on our heels, arms extend out long, forehead rests into the mat. Child's pose. Taking a few big breaths here. Just feeling your body sinking into the pose. Letting any tension just melt away. Taking another moment to reconnect to that intention. Letting it fill you up with each inhale.
And just noting that at any time during our practice today, if you're not feeling a pose or you just wanna take a rest, whatever your reason is, you are always welcome to come here to your child's pose. And whenever you're ready, we are gonna inhale, pressing back up to all fours, bringing the knees back under the hip, transitioning to downward facing dog. So keeping those palms spread out as wide as possible, those fingertips spread out wide, tuck the toes under. Inhale, we are going to lift the hips up towards the sky. Shoulders are pressing down. We want a nice flat back. A bend in the knees is more than welcome here. It's more important to have a flat back than it is straight legs. And we're moving our hips up because we want our hips to be the tallest point on our body in this pose. Beautiful. Maybe you pedal out the feet here if that feels good. Stretching out the back of the legs. Maybe you rock back and forth into a plank. Maybe you just do little wiggles, doing whatever movement feels best on your body. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna bring our gaze up between the palms, inhale, exhale, step or jump those feet up to meet the hands, coming into a forward fold at the top of our mat. Good, relax the head, big bend in the knees. We want our belly to be resting on our thighs and just letting yourself ragdoll here, forward fold. Good. On our next inhale, we're gonna halfway lift. So palms are gonna come to either your shins or your thighs and we're gonna flatten out our back. Good, nice long spine here. Exhale back into that forward fold. Inhale, we are going to rise, grounding through those feet, lifting one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing to rise and we're gonna reach our hands up towards the sky. Getting nice and tall, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, palms come to heart center. Good, take a moment to breathe here. Maybe you close the eyes. Feeling your feet just grounding into the earth. Feeling that nice rooting sensation. Beautiful work. Inhale, we're gonna scoop the arms down and up to rise, reach nice and tall. Maybe you add a little bend here. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive forward, back into that forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to either the shins or thighs, flatten out the back. Exhale, fold, good. We are going to plant the palms and step it back into a plank. So from here, we have some options. Maybe you go straight to downward facing dog. Maybe you hang out in your child's pose for a minute, or we can do our chaturanga push up. So we're going to drop to our knees and we are going to shift our weight about three inches forward, keeping the elbows grazing at the ribs. We're gonna lead with our chin and chest. Nice slow push up onto the bellies. Beautiful. Once we are flat on the ground, keeping those hands underneath the shoulders, pressing into the palms, baby cobra. Good, gentle arch here, heart is lifted. Exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes under, finding our way back to downward facing dog if you're not there already. Beautiful, so that was our sun salutation A. We're gonna take that again. Inhale, gaze comes up between the palms. Exhale, step or jump the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten out the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reaching nice and tall, reaching all the way up. Maybe you add a little arch. Exhale, we're a swan dive back down, good. Inhale, half lift, flatten out the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step it to a plank. Option to go straight to down dog. Maybe you take a child's pose or we're gonna chaturanga again. Maybe you drop the knees or maybe 
We this time you keep them lifted. Shift the weight three inches forward. Elbows graze the rib cage as we lower onto our bellies. Inhale into baby cobra, gentle arch. Maybe you press up a little higher into full cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna run through our sunny salutation one more time. Inhale, gaze comes up between the palms. Exhale, step or jump the feet up. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, we rise, reaching all the way up. And exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step it to plank. Option to go straight to child's pose here, or maybe you take a chaturanga variation. Exhale as we lower. Inhale to arch. And exhale, taking a child's pose. Maybe your knees stand to your belly. Maybe they're as wide as the mat. Sinking the hips back, extending the arms out long. Big inhale here. Exhale, settle in. Beautiful. Just slowing that heart rate down. Acknowledging all that hard work you just did. Just allowing yourself to melt into the pose. Whenever you're ready on our next inhale, find our way back up to downward facing dog. Good. And maybe noticing how this down dog maybe feels a little bit easier than our first one. Keeping that spine nice and long, shoulders actively pressing down towards the mat. And we are gonna step or jump our feet to meet our hands, forward fold. Good, this time we're gonna rise really slowly, rounding up one vertebrae at a time. Good. And we're gonna go into our little challenge pose of the day. So we're gonna do our warrior three. So to do this, we're gonna start by grounding through that left leg. Really engage your core here. Your palms can be either by your side, heart center or above you, totally up to you. And we are just gonna start shifting our weight forward as that right heel slides back. We want our hips to be square. So you might notice your right hip is trying to track open, press it down, it's parallel to the earth. Shift the weight forward. Your gaze is focusing on one singular point. And we're trying to get into a T-like shape. And if you're more diagonal, that's totally okay. It's just that energetic pull. Breathe, really squeeze the core here. You've got this, we're here for three, three, two, one. Gently release, placing that foot back down on the earth. Beautiful work, shake it out. And we're gonna take it to the other side. Now that right foot is strong and planted, squeeze the core, taking the same arm placement you did on the other side and slowly shifting the weight forward so our left leg rises. And you might notice your balance is completely different on this side than it is from the other. And that is totally normal and okay. Just breathe through wherever you are, keeping those hips square, leaning forward. Breathe. Good, we're here for three. Two, one, slowly with control, release. Awesome, shake it out. Beautiful, from here we're gonna inhale, scoop the arms up, rise. Exhale, dive it down, all the way back into that fold. And from here we're gonna lower the hips all the way down so we come into our sit bones. 
bringing the soles of the feet together, we're transitioning to butterfly pose, stretching out the hips. So option to keep your heels closer to your body, maybe take them a little further away. Depends on the sensation you're going for, just feel free to play around and see what feels good. So we're gonna walk our hands as far forward as comfortable, welcoming that fold, nice length in the spine. Maybe you take little rocks side to side, if that feels good on the low back. Just finding what feels good for you and breathe. Inhale, pressing back up. Good, bringing the knees together and we are going to slowly lower onto our back. So maybe you go real slow and controlled to engage that core. Or maybe you just find your way some other how. Good, coming onto our back and we are going to hug both knees into the chest. Good, rocking side to side. Maybe you rock back and forth or take the knees in little circles. Beautiful, and we're just gonna meet in stillness. From here, we're gonna extend our right leg out long so our heel is grounded onto the earth. And we're going to take that left, that right knee across our body. So we're coming into a twist, good. Guiding that knee across. That right arm comes out long, and maybe you bring your gaze to your right palm. Relaxing the rest of your body into this twist. Full and complete breathing here. On our next inhale, guiding that right knee back through center. And we are going to switch sides, hugging that left knee now in towards the chest, right heel meets the earth. And we are just going to guide that left knee across our body and extending the left arm out. Good, breathe. Inhale, coming back through center. And we are going to extend now both legs out long, snuggling our shoulder blades underneath us, finding what feels good, lying down completely flat, coming into our Shavasana, final relaxation. So we're just going to close our eyes here, taking any other adjustments you need, Good, taking in a big inhale, belly fills up. Exhale, let it all go. And just releasing any tension we might be feeling in the body, keeping our eyebrows and eyelashes relaxed. Shoulders and hips are relaxed, just melting into the earth. We're just going to spend a few moments here just connecting to our breath and completely allowing our body to relax.
We're slowly going to draw awareness back into the body with little wiggles of the fingers and toes. Starting to deepen our breath. And then taking the wrists and ankles into circles. Shaking the head side to side as if we're saying no. Doing whatever little movements feel good on the body here. On our next big inhale, we're gonna reach the arms overhead towards the back of our mat and pointing our toes towards the front of the mat. Full body stretch here, lengthening in both directions. Good, and on our next exhale, curling onto one side in a fetal position. It's taking your time getting here, there's no rush. And using that top hand, we are going to press ourselves up into a cross-legged easy seat. Just keeping those eyes closed still, allowing yourself to settle in, noticing the sensations you feel. And just taking a moment to notice how different your body feels than it did from the beginning of our practice. Just welcoming those new sensations. On our next inhale, we're gonna bring our palms out and up towards the sky, reaching nice and tall. Exhale, palms come to heart center. Beautiful, we're gonna take that motion again. Inhale, taking in all that positive energy you've just created. Exhale, bring that positive energy to your heart. One last time, inhale, breathing in your intention. And exhale, we're going to send our intention out into the universe. The light from within me bows to the light within you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope you enjoyed this class and I hope you are having a wonderful homecoming. Good luck with the rest of your semester and I was so happy to be here with you.